Today, we're going to learn how to insert elements into the standard template library's set container. Hello, I'm James Helfrich. We can insert elements into a set container just like we can any other container with two important differences. First, set ensures that there's no duplicates. And second, we don't get to specify the location in the set where the new element goes because it's always in sorted order. Consider the following set. E, I, A, O, and U, which are, of course are five vowels. Now, when I add them to the set, then they're always going to be in sorted order because the set stores things in sorted order. I'm also going to have a pair of iterator comma bool, and this can be the return value to a set, an iterator to the element that's inserted, and a bool to see whether I inserted something. So when I say s.insert a, notice how a is already there, then I'm going to get a pointer to a, and then my I'm going to get false in the second part of the pair, which is going to say I did not insert something new. Then when I say s.insert t, well, t is not currently in the set, so I'm going to add a new element to t. Notice how t does not go on the end of the set, but rather in sorted order. And so the, the tuple is going to return a iterator to the t that I just inserted, as well as a true Boolean, which indicates that I inserted a new element. Let's look at another example. I'm going to try to insert set into a set. And once again, things go into sorted order, e, s, t. And then I'm going to say r equals s dot insert a. And then I'm going to insert a new element. And it's going to go in the front because a is in the beginning in a sorted order. And it's be true to indicate a new element was added. Then when I say s dot insert t, well, t already exists in the set. Remember, no duplicates. I'm going to return an iterator to that t, and then false indicating a new element was not sorted. It turns out the set stores elements in a binary search tree, all, once again maintaining the sorted order. So I'm going to have a set that has a bunch of letters. If I say s.insert g, well, first of all, we're going to look at the h, and g is less than h, but it's greater than d, it's greater than F, and there's the G. So I'm going to return a pointer to the G, and false mean I did not insert a new element. Then if I say s.insert J, I'm going to start at the H, and then M, less than M, less than K, greater than I, but there is no J, so it's going to be inserted on this place in the binary search tree. So I'm going to iterate to that new element, and true indicate a new element was added. This is example 15.2 in the C++ data structures textbook.